all right welcome back to another video and in this one we'll be taking a look at a very unique um set of box now i usually don't do these kind of videos but uh, i actually found this old set of box in the storage and uh, it's it is actually pretty old so there's no hdmi port as you can see we do have uh, vg out and vg in and that's why it is a unique one so it could do picture in picture and actually connect to your computer's monitor and act as an intermediary uh, kind of a thing where it could also um, be used as a setup box or uh, just display your uh, computer's output to your monitor and also uh, again the picture in picture stuff was also there so uh, when you uh, see when i especially when i see this kind of a hardware what i usually expect is some kind of a mips or an arm based processor because that is what makes sense but this has a very unique processor and we'll take a look at that and that's why i have planned the whole video now i have of course uh, of course opened it up and that's how i know what processor is in there and it is missing some uh, screws and uh, that's uh, because i decided not to put all of them in so that when i'm opening this up uh, it doesn't take too much time so we'll disassemble the whole thing and you know take a look at uh, how everything is assembled inside now uh, the main SBC is basically in two parts as we will see and one of the part is just dedicated for the uh, VGA uh, input and output and the other is the main uh, set top box so this is a first look at the uh, main set of box now here we can clearly see there are two main chips and so this is the IBM power PC believe it or not it is running a power PC I see now I don't know how clearly it is visible on the camera right now but I will post uh, some high resolution detailed images um, uh, once uh, you know I'll take them afterwards but you will see on the on your screen right now so a few things that we can see almost right away is this uh, RAM here I don't know how much uh, that is but uh, there is the RAM and there is, there is the uh, flash storage and that also has kind of the uh, firmware version number uh, on here on the sticker and here is what I'm guessing some sort of an FPGA or again uh, some specific uh, ASIC for the handling of VG and all of that stuff uh, just based on uh, its placement because most of the uh, set of boxes I've seen with this particular IBM chip which is the uh, STB X25XX uh, and uh, with this particular chip doesn't have any other sort of uh, ICs uh, other than this main CPU so this again should be an FPGA and here are uh, its RAM so it's kind of having more RAM uh, than the uh, than the power PC CPU just based on the uh, number of chips could be the same amount uh, but in uh, dual channel mode or something like that so we'll see uh, what all is in there so let's go ahead and take all of this apart now here is some uh, that uh, card uh, the VIC or something uh, it was like viewer identity card and uh, that is what identifies this setup box as mine and uh, basically just a simple uh, same kind of a deal there just on a bigger card and interestingly it does also have a serial port which i did try to work with and we'll uh, talk about it later how that did that go uh, so let's go ahead and finish tearing off the rest of the uh, system and this is the bare bone uh, just the circuit board and at the back we don't have a lot I was expecting to some, see some kind of a JTAG uh, or a, a UART uh, kind of pinouts but there don't seem to be any on the whole board actually uh, only the one serial port that is provided so uh, yes uh, talking about the serial port I was able to get some communication 
uh, working with it i was able to get a command line prompt but whatever i put into that prompt uh, didn't seem to work at all uh, now i've asked around a few and all, everyone just says that this chip does uh, run linux mainly and uh, uh, wherever they, these are deployed they run linux something like a 2.6 kernel version but the th thing is it might be locked down uh, and the console access might not be as easy as uh, someone like me would expect it to be so yes it wasn't very straightforward uh, and i wasn't able to get into a lot uh, of the system although some things were uh, you know uh, written on the console by the system so that does mean that the console communication itself is working fine it's just that uh, it's kind of a lockdown so I'm really interesting uh, interested to see what sort of a uh, chip is beneath that and uh, I have no other option uh, other than you know uh, prying out the heat sink and it seems to be stuck pretty darn hard um so this might take a few minutes and there we go our uh, one heat sink down i'll actually use this heat sink again seems a pretty nice one uh, and i have a couple of boards that could actually use this one and so the main thing is this is an AV Aver logic. Now I don't know if this is an FPGA, but we can do a quick Google search. So I will also be putting uh, uh, in the video uh, data sheet for this one as well as the other one. So let's for now take a quick look at what the uh, other chip is. All right, so I did find what this chip actually is. Uh, and it is an ASIC it's not an FPGA uh, and that was pretty much obvious from the name uh, it's based on uh, a company that makes a specific product for audio and video and this chip basically handles uh, the conversion of uh, the kind of video output that comes through here from this which is mostly in a uh, you know RCA format uh, specific to this one and um, converts it into something that can be used with a VGA port and specifically used with a monitor. It also handles a lot of uh, video scaling uh, features. So if you have a higher resolution monitor and stuff like that uh, and uh, a couple of color conversion from YUV to RGB and uh, other things. So the other chip, uh, there's another uh, chip right there by uh, again by Avo Logic, and this seems to be an audio one. Not entirely sure if that is true, uh, but again we can simply Google the chip ID and find out. So that is an AL240C. So uh, what I think they are doing is converting this uh, using this to convert to a video format that this understands and then this converts it to uh, what a VGA uh, output would understand and that is uh, what they are basically doing here. So uh, again this board would have probably been this small if not for the VGA uh, ports and because the IBM chip is actually pretty uh, it's 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 not even just a CPU so this has a power PC 405 uh, inside of it around 200 to 300 megahertz or, or thereabouts and uh, but this has all the MPEG video decoding uh, and uh, um, it's a very uh, set up box specific uh, IC so yes again uh, this was about it really wanted to sh show a power PC based uh, set up box now apparently when I went ahead and searched for these uh, this particular chip uh, it isn't very uh, uncommon for set up boxes for the past to have had this chip before this was apparently a very very uh, famous chip uh, a very widely used one so again someone like me who has worked a lot with arm based devices uh, does come to think of you know something like this would have an arm based CPU because that thing uh, has pretty much every 
stuff built in so something like ti would provide uh, cpus or ic's for this ti or st this was uh, kind of surprising for me to see an ibm based uh, chipset inside now the, uh, the other thing is surprisingly the ibm uh, chip doesn't have a heat sink rather the a uh, ava logic one has so i'm still uh, thinking on putting this back on to the ava logic chip uh, because i might be using this sometime maybe to put linux on it but from the looks of it from what i'm getting from the serial console uh, i don't think that would be uh, kind of possible right now for me to do so i think i'll go ahead and install this chip on the kadas vim or you know keep it aside for other boards that might uh, come in one day of course i would have to remove the uh, used uh, thermal compound there and uh, apply my own but that's uh, not a big difficult thing to do so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short video on a unique setup box board that i found and uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one